Gardner and Fanny Church are preparing to move out of their Beacon Hill house to their summer cottage on Cape Cod. Gardner, once a famous poet, now is retired and slips in and out of senility as his wife Fanny valiantly tries to keep them both afloat. They have asked their daughter Mags to come home and help with the move. Mags agrees, for she hopes as well to finally paint their portrait. That is the story that is told in the stage production, Painting Churches, happening at the Adobe Theater. Joining us now is the director of the show, Brian Hansen. Brian, good to see you. Thanks for being with us this morning. Good to be here. So uh, we got just a sort of brief synopsis of, of this show, uh, the title, Painting Churches. Let's talk what, what the meaning of it is, because it's painting, but why does Mags want to get this portrait painted? Right. Well, the important thing is it's not about religion, and it's mm -hmm. not about the buildings called churches. It's about a family named church. Okay. So she is coming home and she is reestablishing re contact with her family in an important new way. She's decided to help them move, but she also, because she's a very famous or, or developing painter, wants to paint her parents' okay. portrait. And in order to do that, she has to, she discovers, get to know them. Mm -hmm. And they have to get to know her. Mm -hmm. They have to learn to respect her and she has to learn how to deal with their new and changing circumstance. Yeah. The circumstance, of course, is that the father is slipping further and further into what we now call dementia. Mm -hmm. And because the family has traditionally been really quite eccentric, mm -hmm. it's difficult to tell what, what is aberrant behavior and what is just them being their silly selves. Right. Now, when we talk about what's difficult to tell, is it, is it we the audience? It's difficult for we the audience to tell? Or is it really the family sort of figuring out? Because I think this is something that a lot of families deal with. Anyone right. in, that has had a family member that has mm -hmm. dealt with uh, dementia or Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. It can sometimes be a very difficult line to walk. What is what right. is the disease, and what is just you know the eccentricity of, of this person? Absolutely, and that's part of it. It it is um, it's it's a relationship play among mm -hmm. other things because they're dealing with her as an emerging adult mm -hmm. who has to be respected as an artist in her own right. Right. But they are, have to be <laughs> they have to be found to be humans at the declining end by her yeah. and one of the problems is that she has revered her father mm -hmm. for so long and in so many ways that it's hard for her to understand that now he is going to need a lot of help it's going to be on the he's right. going to be the receiving end of that right, care right right yeah. absolutely so it's a, it's a wonderful lifetime story mm -hmm. with um, uh, the young members of the family having to integrate themselves into a family which is re or disintegrating at the far right. end uh, it's right. it's a very touchy. You no, know, it seems like a very, you know, I mean, the subject matter could potentially be a very sort of intense and, and somewhat of a very downtrodden oh, uh, topic. Absolutely. But it is kind of funny. In fact, it's very funny. Okay. In fact, it, the amazing thing about it is it's both funny and touching at the same time. At the same time. And that is uh, true of a lot of modern drama. Right. And in this particular case, Tina Howe, I think, has captured that balance point very well. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it's terrible to say it, but some some of the mental jumps that happen with Alzheimer's mm -hmm. are funny. They can be funny, yeah. And, and you have and to you have need a to be, sense of humor. To, yes, right. To, you have to, to be reminded of that. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So it sounds like a fantastic play, Brian. When and where can we see this? Well, we open this Friday, the 27th, and we play through the 13th of July. Okay. We play at 8 o'clock on Friday and Saturdays and at 2 o'clock on Sundays at the Adobe Theater, which is located on North 4th, as you well know. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, anybody wanting further information could go to the Albuquerque Theater Guild mm -hmm. or to the Adobe Theater's uh, home the website. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. And of course, we will have links on our website at casa.com under the style tab to the Adobe Theater and Albuquerque Theater Guild. Brian, break legs this weekend. Thanks for Thanks a million. By. Absolutely. Great. We're going to head over to the kitchen.